Hi, I'm Scott from Blue Lab, and today we're going to show you how to calibrate your pulse to the maximum water holding capacity. Before we start our calibration, we need to select a good representative sample of all of our plants. This has to be a minimum of two plants, but can be up to five plants. Step one, we're going to fill up our plants until they're saturated. Step two, we're going to let all the pots free drain for at least an hour. Once the plants have been saturated and allowed to free drain, you're now ready to calibrate to your maximum water holding capacity. Now we're going to calibrate our pulse. Step one, we're going to set up our app. To start our calibration, simply select the burger menu in the top left corner, click on calibrated media, and here you can see all the calibrations we've made previously. Down the bottom right corner is a plus button. If you touch that, you'll see some helpful informationals explaining what we're going to do as part of the media calibration, explaining what water holding capacity is and why we're using it, an instructional that tells you exactly what the process of calibration is going to be and how long it's going to take. The next stage is to choose a name for your calibration. So I'll call this Blueberry 1. Then you need to select your media. We're using a normal potting mix, so I'll just select a mixed media. Step two, we're going to start measuring our selected pots. When you're taking your measurements and your calibration, you want to take them at the same depth that you will normally be using when you're using the device. So because we're using two plants, we're going to take three measurements per plant for a total of six measurements. Now on the check calibration screen, take a measurement and you should see a nice green box pop up saying great measurement, measure again. Do that a couple of times, you should be getting mostly green measurements. If you get the odd orange measurement, that's okay. If you want to check it to see what a bad measurement looks like, simply take a plant like this one that hasn't been saturated, hasn't been watered, take a measurement from there, and you'll see a red measurement appear. Now this doesn't mean that this plant is bad, it simply means it is not at the maximum water holding capacity, which is what your other two samples are at. Once you're happy with your calibration, hit save and this calibration will now be included on the list of medias on your configure screen. Remember you need to go back to the configure screen and send this new calibration to your pulse. In summary, to create a custom calibration, simply select two to five plants, saturate these, leave them to free drain for at least an hour, go to your app, select calibrated media, follow the instructions, taking three measurements per plant, check your calibration, and hit save. A few tips and tricks. When you're selecting your two to five plants, remember to select your best plant. So when you're taking your measurements during your calibration, always measure in the same position that you'll be measuring in real life when you're not calibrating. If you get a measurement that you don't like or you think is wrong, you can always hit the discard and restart and start the calibration from the start. And if ever you've got any doubts, you can just hit the back button and see all the helpful tips that we have at the start of the calibration process. That's all. Good luck and happy calibrating.